Eh, this is an annoying question. I don't love this, but uh, there are ways to solve it with algebra, but I'm gonna teach it the same way I would for the old test, right? Like I understand where you're coming from. If you're struggling with a question like this, it's probably because you're not that great at algebra and or at least you're not that confident in your algebra. So can we still get these points in another way? And we can because even though the question is confusing, the answers are pretty straightforward and we're gonna be able to guess and check, right? So if there's a lot of numbers flying at you from a question, so go to the answer choices. Odds are good that that one number can be our kind of starting point and we can start to build the question around that one number. So what I would do if I'm gonna guess and check, first of all, I just gravitate towards choice B. I don't know why, it's just the one I like. And if it's wrong, you know, I can kind of adjust. I can go for a bigger number or a smaller number depending on what's going on. So B is eight. Eight what? How many pints of blackberries are in this purchase? Okay, so let's scan the question now. What do we know with the blackberries? Well, for store A, the blackberries are $3 a pint. So, okay, let's see. Eight pints of blackberries at $3 a piece. So eight blackberries times $3, that's $24. Well, why might I care about that? Well, that's store A. And they say at, at store A, you're buying $37 worth of stuff. So, okay, we can do a little subtraction here, right? So if I subtract the 24 in blackberries, from the 37 total, right, that's that's $13. And that is some amount of raspberries, right? And raspberries are 550 a pint, so times 550. See how we're kind of like building this? So now what I basically do is saying, okay, there's some X that I don't know, some number of raspberries. Let's just do R actually, let's keep it really straightforward. R is the number of raspberries that I don't know. And we can see like, well, what would it make sense? So here's where I take my nice calculator, which I'm gonna have for every single math section. I would divide 13 by 550. And here I would get that R is 2.36. Well, you, we can't have a decimal number of pints, okay? So that doesn't make any sense here. I mean, I guess they say that it can't, it, I guess it's possible. It doesn't say that it has to be a whole number of pints, um, but, yeah, it doesn't say. So let's see, we could, I guess, try it out now with store B. We haven't touched that. So what do they say about store B? Well, eight raspberry or eight blackberries would still need to be there. At store B, they're $8 a piece. So that's $64. Oof, that's a lot of blackberries. And then that's $66 total. So wait a minute here. That's $2 left over. And raspberries are $6.50 a pint. Doesn't make sense. So we would need 2.36 to be the, the amount of raspberries here. And that number doesn't add up to the two that we have left over. This is confusing, even with the guess and check, but I think it lets us take one thing at a time and hopefully make more sense of it. So the numbers don't work out nicely for this one. So that would mean we need a new choice. Now, I think we have too many blackberries because the blackberries at store B are so freaking expensive, we gotta lower that price. So. Let's try choice C. Here we have five pounds of, or pints of blackberries at $3 a piece. Notice it's the same setup, that's $15. And it's still a $37 total that we're subtracting from. So that leaves me with $22. And remember the R number of raspberries are 550 a pint. So we're still going to divide 22 now by 550. And that's nicer, that's four. Hmm, that seems good. Now let's see, we still gotta make sure that it makes sense at store B, this is all store A. Store B, it's still gonna be five blackberries, it's now four raspberries. Eight dollars a pint is forty dollars. And this was what, 650 a pint? Four times 650, four times 650 is 26, and what does that up, add up to? 66, exactly what it was supposed to add up to, and now we have the answer. Is it more efficient than the algebra? No, probably not. We're gonna have to make some equations. I don't wanna deal with it here, but um, it is certainly proof that even when you are struggling with algebra, coming up with equations yourself, you can solve. You can still force it. And we'll see, you know, the, the calculator is built into every section, so you might be able to do this in easier ways once we see how that calculator works. But 
it, it, this is the same mentality we should follow with the current old version of the SAT and with the new, is just because something seems confusing at first doesn't mean you should give up on it. You might be able to get it in some sort of strategic way that your math teacher might not be happy with, but that will still get you the points, and that's what we care about. We have more uh, time per question on the new SAT, the new digital one. It's, it's a slower-paced test, so you might have the time to kind of kind of work this one out and, and get these points, and it might mean you know, uh, that you are more willing to try the strategies because you have more time to do it.